However, that picture changes when we look at 1440p, where the 11900K with ABD essentially ties the overclocked 5900X, and the core i91190K takes a 2% lead after overclocking. Flipping through the individual games shows that the leader can change quite dramatically, with different titles responding better to either Intel or AMD. Our geometric mean of the entire test suite helps smooth that out to one digestible number, but bear in mind, the faster chip could vary based on the game you play. Winner. AMD overall. The two chips are very closely matched in our overall gaming tests as performance will vary largely based on the type of title you're playing. One thing is clear. Intel's chip does not cement it as the clear leader in gaming, which Intel would need to justify the 11,900K's price tag. When paired with lesser GPUs or when gaming at higher resolutions, the performance deltas between the two chips will shrink to the nearly imperceptible range. But the Ryzen 9 5900X does take the title overall at 1080p, possibly leaving a bit more headroom for future GPU upgrades. Core i91190K versus Ryzen 9 5900X application performance We can boil down the Core i91190K versus Ryzen 9 5900X performance in productivity applications into two broad categories. Single and multi-threaded. The first slide has a geometric mean of performance in several of our single-threaded tests and the core i91190K takes a 6.7% lead over the Ryzen 9 5900X. You'll notice that engaging the ABD boost actually results in slightly lower single-threaded performance. As we see with AMD's Auto Overclocking Precision Boost Overdrive, PBO. That isn't uncommon with auto-tuning approaches that are designed to boost performance in multi-threaded work. The 11900K also has slower performance in single-threaded work with a 5.2 GHz overclock. But that's because our overclock doesn't match the 11900K's 5.3 GHz boost that you'll get at stock settings. Regardless, the Core i91190K has incredibly snappy performance in single-threaded tasks. Like the lame and flack encoders, and the Cinebench 23 and POV ray renderers. We also see very snappy performance in web browsers, which tend to be lightly threaded. And a bruising performance advantage in the single-threaded AVX 512 enabled Y Cruncher. Overall, the 11900K is impressive in single-threaded work. But it's too bad the chip bucks the trend of single-threaded prowess equating directly to superior gaming performance. The first slide brings the performance value of the Ryzen 9 5900X's higher core counts into clear focus. This geometric mean of our threaded application workload results shows that the 5900X's 4-core advantage equates to a whopping 27% advantage over the 